Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be making this really creamy body butter yet again. Yes, it's for personal use. It contains hemp seed oil. I really wanted to try it out and I just really love how this turned out. It's so... I hate to use the word moisturizing, but it does feel moisturizing. So it's such a really good body butter, guys. Watch how I make this one. So first of all, I'm going to start with measuring out hard oils. <laughs> just because I need to melt them down. So the hard oils I'm using for this, most people don't use lard in their butter. But guys, that is my new secret ingredient. For myself though, <laughs> not for sale, for myself. I really like lard on my skin. It's been so good to use. And so I've just been incorporating it in all my body butters. Anyway, so I'm measuring out cocoa butter here. This is not lard. And then I'm going to measure out some shea butter. And then I'll also go ahead and measure out some lard. Guys, what I notice about lard, I'll tell you. Um, so lard in body butters makes it really, really creamy. So it feels very creamy. And then when, once you rub it on your skin, it also has like this really nice layer of moisture. So it doesn't just feel like oil. It feels like it makes your skin feel softer, if you know what I mean. There's like this soft thing to your skin when it's on your skin. So normally with body butters, I tend to mix them with like my body lotion as well, just because I want that water from the lotion as moisture on my skin. But I find that the body butters that I make now that contain lard are also pretty nice on my skin just by themselves. So I don't even really need the lotion half the time. They still feel very good. So um, obviously, if you want to do some experiment like me, you can always go ahead and use lard in your body butters. Um, I'm going to start making body butters soon for sale. Um, I will start with custom orders so people can actually still tell me what they want in their body butters. And then over time, based on just how the, the, the requests go, I can now tell what people like and I can actually really tailor my body butters to what people actually love. And I will be selling them on my website. But for now, you can actually sneak into my inbox on Instagram. Uh, I'm going to leave the my instagram page up there it's at creamy swords everywhere actually you can sneak into my dms and send me a request for which body butter you'd like me to make for you you have to be in the united states though and it has to be when the weather is cooler because right now the weather is not cool at all your body butter is going to melt before it gets to you so we have to wait until the fall weather um so yes i've just melted my hard oils down and now i've added some coconut oil this was just the rest of the coconut oil in the container that i melted that down and then i'm adding some olive oil and then the star of this show is the hemp seed oil now hemp seed oil has so many benefits to the skin it is super moisturizing really good and it's actually really gentle too i thought it was probably going to be a harsh type of oil but apparently not it's really gentle it's really good for certain kinds of rashes eczema things like that um but yeah i've just decided to incorporate it so now um i took that to the fridge went and put that in the freezer actually so it could solidify but i realized my container was too small and so now i'm just kind of switching containers you know and that's what i'm doing here anyway um so right i'll just let you guys watch this and then i'll just keep coming on and telling you guys what's next and what's next and what's next <laughs> So here is the hemp seed oil. This is the star of my show. I used this at, honestly, I can't remember the percentage. And maybe I should stop telling percentages for my body butters because I'll soon start selling them. And that's some Jamaican black castor oil as well. And this is some vitamin E oil. This body butter, I really wanted it to be super rich. I didn't mix too many oils. Normally, I, I go crazy with oils. This is just some fragrance oils oil sorry normally i go crazy with oils but like with this one i wanted it to be kind of thick but also um nice and creamy so i didn't want it to be too fluid and so i used about 60 percent of my hard oils in this one or maybe even 65 percent and then i used relatively thicker oils 
yes, olive oil and hemp seed oil are lighter oils, but castor oil is pretty thick and I use that as well. And then, um, so now I took that to the fridge again to just solidify it a little bit. And now I'm just whipping away. So you guys are just going to watch me whip this. I did not cut too much from this because I wanted you guys to see how it transform, transforms, transforms <laughs> from like a yellowy type of color to a more whitish color that's usually how you know that you've really whipped it well and then i also go ahead in this uh i was gonna say soap guys i make too much soap anyway in this body butter i also go ahead and add some like shimmery glitter to it at some point you guys are going to see there um because i just wanted to have some shimmers you know i wanted something that would just blend so well and just make my dark skin glow even more you know that melanin goodness i really wanted it so um i decided to add some shimmers i'm gonna show you guys i think i'm just going ahead of myself here so i'll let you guys watch this okay and if you're just joining for the first time welcome i really hope you subscribe to my channel on this channel i so i show guys have you realized i keep making this mistake of so show anyways i show my soap making and my body butter making yes because i make body butters for myself and i will soon be selling like i said earlier i show my um crafts as is i do not try to edit to take out mistakes so wherever like i made an error wherever like i have a challenge you guys actually get to see it see it so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up because it really does help and also subscribe to my channel please guys it really does help as well thank you So you find that I keep stopping at intervals to kind of scrape the sides of the container down. That's very important to do. You will always need to scrape because there's always going to be harder oils that stick to the sides of your container and you want all of that to be incorporated in your body butter. And so it's always important to stop at intervals, scrape, scrape, scrape and kind of mix things together and then continue uh, mixing and then you know everything will be well incorporated you will uh also just find that there's like little specks it kind of looks like there's little specks of hard butter in there don't worry about that it usually blends in really well and once you're rubbing that on your skin you won't even feel at any form of speck like it's not going to be rough at all it's usually i notice some people don't melt down their butters so if they're using shea butter alone which is a relatively soft butter compared to cocoa butter some people don't melt it down and then just use it to make body butter straight away when you do that you're gonna have granules and it is going to be rough so that's usually when um you have a rough body butter but if you don't want a rough body butter always melt down your um shea butter and your hard oils and then put that in the freezer immediately so that it can solidify at the same rate um, yeah, so now I'm just scraping again like you can see and then I will just show you guys the end product I will test that on my skin you guys. You're going to see the shimmers. You're going to see what I'm gonna add I will just let you guys watch this <laughs> So like I said, I'm using this beautiful, beautiful mica powder from Crafter's Choice. Um, I think it was honestly a sample scent to me because I don't remember buying it. Um, and I've just decided to use it because I tried using it in soap unsuccessfully, of course, because I didn't even realize that it was not actually a color. It was just like a shimmery glitter thing. And so it actually worked really nicely in my body butter. You guys are going to see how that turned out. In fact, I ended up wishing I put some more 
but maybe that's just me being extra because you know you really don't want to be walking around with so many glitters on your skin you just want it to be really subtle where people notice your skin has an extra glow but they don't really quite know why um that's kind of how you want it and that's how this turned out and i really really did like it but like let's keep watching you see me here i added a little more i think i added some of that glitter maybe two or three times just to kind of add more and more shimmers um, and then I tested it out. So I'll let you guys see this. And guys, I feel like I didn't say too much about the fragrance oil that I used. It was like a vanilla type fra fragrance oil. It smells so good, guys. Whenever I use this, honestly, it smells like I have literally just... I'm like I'm a cake or something anyway so now this is me testing it and you can see there how lovely this glides into my skin can you literally see how my skin turned out looking so good now um I was trying to show you guys the shimmers here and at some point I think I'm gonna slow this down a little bit so you can actually see how this turned out and how it made I don't know if you can see like the little glitters it's so subtle there um you can see like little bits of glitters right so um yeah and i'm showing this to you i can see it a little bit i'm hoping you can see it too um so it turned out really beautiful it sips in the oil on your skin the oil gets into your skin it really nourishes your skin this is such a good body butter i love this body butter um i'm gonna ask a question actually in the post soon would you use lard in your body butter i want to actually know what people like to just know if people would like lard in their body butters um i love lard in my body butter now because i've experimented and i like it but i really want to know what people would want to use or if they would like it and things like that so i'm gonna leave a poll after this video and be sure to vote for whether you like um whether you'd like to use lard or not in your body butters so now let's just put that into our container um you see this is where i decided to stop it does hold a form one of the ways you also know that it's ready it holds its form it's very light and fluffy it's also much whiter than it was when we uh started because when we started it was more yellowy but now you can see and you can also see that it is very creamy this is not even like you know you don't see any grains or anything like that this is not rough it is so smooth and that lard does add an extra creamy factor to this so this is such a beautiful body butter and super rich lard is actually very very good and mimics some of the skin's oils so it is such a beautiful oil anyways um so yeah so this is how it turned out and i hope you liked this video and i hope you enjoyed watching this and um yes don't forget to don't forget to give this video a thumbs up once again and yeah see you guys next time have a great day bye